about this, you guys. Let's do this. We can do this. Ow. Y'all, this has been a journey. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm trans. I am non-binary. I'm the boy of your dreams. Hi, my name is Murphy and I identify as non-binary. The reason I bind is to feel more like myself. To, to, to look more like how I feel on the inside. Okay, let's be real. Like, I have a very large chest. Also, full transparency, I have a few different disabilities, and a part of that is chronic pain. For me, a lot of my chronic pain is just, like, all in this area. So for me, binding in itself is actually really nerve-wracking and scary. You don't need dysphoria to be trans, but a lot of trans people do experience dysphoria. And sometimes I feel feminine, and sometimes I feel feminine, but I also don't want a chest. I've never binded before, and they're all popular, so let's hope they're popular for a reason. Let's try! Anyone who knows anything about binding probably is familiar with the GC2B. If it's uncomfortable, it's the wrong size for you. It's very stretchy, which is super important, especially in the summer. This is probably the one I'm most excited to try on. And I usually take my glasses off for this. Roll it down. If you see here, it's like bunched up in the back, and that can be a little bit hard. Wait, this actually might work, and it's actually kind of comfortable. Interesting. Okay, I love this one. For me, very flat. It did flatten me out quite a lot. It's kind of doing this thing. What I like to do is kind of adjust. Like I go in and just like pull, pull my, my stuff up and it's a little bit flatter now. Also, it's so nice as like a plus size person to be able to find one of these in color. Back when I bought my first one, that was not possible. I think this is just too big. I feel like this isn't necessarily binding. I just need a smaller size. Like, I think that's really what it comes down to. It's not tight here. It's just like compressive right where it's supposed to be. I give this binder an A+. It's really flat. It's pretty flat. Like, look at that. Look at that. Where are the This is good. I feel masculine. I feel... Yeah, it is comfortable. It's very, like, it's it's tight, but it, it, I can still breathe. And then we have this underwear tank top binder. So this one is like full length. It's more of like a tank, so it's a bit full coverage. I'm a little nervous about this one. Feels really kind of rough. It's stretchy, but it's like firm. Also with Amazon, with the 2X, they charge more. Okay, this is, <laughs> yeah, this one is, <laughs> Let's do this. We can do this. Ow. Interesting. So here's the problem. This doesn't go down. I feel like it first of all accentuates my waist, which is not what I want. It also compresses my weight, like hips, which is kind of cool. Compressing everything here. It's like, what's happening, babe? Like the seams are just thickums. And I feel like if I got this any smaller, I wouldn't be able to talk right now. Hard to breathe a little bit. The GC2B, kind of the ones that end like right here, at least I can still breathe through my diaphragm. This one is kind of overall compressing everything and that makes it kind of hard to breathe. This one is more expensive for plus sizes than it is for straight sizes, which is like simply f***ed up. I give this a B plus. She's not my star student. But she tried her hardest, and it was not in vain. I like that it, it does make me feel a little bit more boxy in shape, which is, I think, helpful sometimes. My chest is not as compressed as the other one, so no. This is basically, it's kind of like gauze, but it's not. It's its own thing, clearly. Oh my god! Okay, this is because I have big so I ordered the big one. Peel it off and... There's like a whole roll of it. And I got them in three different sizes. What's really nice is that the deluxe kit also comes with these items to care for your skin. Healing salve. Oh, and then we have this giant thing of the remover oil, which is very important. Safe binding. We need to bind safely because your health is important. It says immediately, first time user, a 24 hour test patch is required to prior to your first use of the trans tape and monitor the area for 24 hours. I just sat and like, you know, watched a tutorial, but I do feel at least some form of equipped. And trans tape is available in three different colors. I don't know about this, you guys. I'll just sit on the floor for a second. 
the results of this always look so good, but the process just seems like so much. You have to make nipple covers, very important. Tear it a little bit and then do that and it'll start stretching. You peel this part off and then you stick it on over where the nipple area is, like in the center, and then pull back like, and then stick it around the other end. Um, okay. When I tried to put it on like I've seen in the videos, it just looked like a very long, not fashionable pasty. Depending on your shape and the chest and, and what, how you wanna do it, like there's different ways to do, apply it. And then rub the trans tape, which will cause the friction to make the adhesive activate. <laughs> this is a joke. This, who set me up? Who set me up? Oh, it doesn't really work for me. Honestly, okay, it didn't really work. Like it works, like I, it's definitely flatter. It's more to the sides. Full disclosure, I was a dumbass and I did not read the instructions carefully the first time I put it on. What I did was I ended up wearing it all day under the sun. I went dancing in it and I had a huge blister right here. When I was pulling off on the other side, there was just like a little row of like blisters all the way down here if you see that. Always, always <laughs> test out a strip first. Y'all, this has been a journey. This hurts. It emotionally hurts. This is not for anyone with an L cup boob. Just no, no, don't, like I, no. The ends don't really justify the means for me. I mean, that looks a little better, but I really wanted it to work. I really did, but I'm gonna have to give this one like a C. The pros of this is that it's customizable on my body. This is the grade that I give this product. This ain't about y'all, this is about me and my circumstances. I can't see myself giving this anything other than an F. It's really important to remember, please do it safely. Don't use ace bandages. Make sure the binder you're wearing is your size. Make sure that you're not ordering it too small, even if you want it to compress more. Sometimes people think that if you wear a smaller binder, then that means it'll like hide your chest even more. In reality, all it's doing is further harming you physically. Your health is the most important thing. Also, don't sleep in your binder. It's bad for you. I love you.